to Vlogmas Day 15. Oh! oh. <laughs> She's eating, so she was like, why are you howling right now? I'm stuffing my face. Um, so today still feeling all that stress that I felt yesterday, but we're having fun. It is Christmas time. It's the 15th of December and I feel like I've been doing a lot of Christmas stuff at the same time, not enough, you know? Um, so right now I'm packing my gift for my friend who I'm seeing this weekend. She typically, well, she's Jewish. <laughs> so she, um, she says she celebrates Christmas just for fun. Um, so I'm bringing her. I got her these cute earmuffs. They um, have bunny ears that you can remove. So I guess you just untie this. So that they can just be pink earmuffs or they can have the bunny ears. So I thought that would be cute for her. Oh yeah, that's super easy. I might buy myself a pair because these are these are really cute. Um, and they're super soft. So I was either gonna jack these and be like, <laughs> I was like, nah. So and they fold up so cute. I hope she likes them. Um, I know she's not watching my videos. So she won't see this before I see her. Um, right now I'm cleaning off the bag that I found. That's what they really should do is like make a dry erase spot for your name in your bag. Oh, I bet someone's done it. You know, that sounds like a good idea, but I bet someone's done it. Um, Cause yeah, I'm just like scratching off the sticker that was it. Yeah, because I, I love to save a good bag, you know. I don't even know what Christmas this bag was bought, but it's cute. I like it. It's like I have... I forget who gave me this, but it was like someone put their gift for me in this. And that's so cute. And you just... Sorry, but you, you open Santa's head to get your gift. Um, and I put some candy for my friend in there, but I think since I'm doing with the big bag, I'm also giving her these cute little uh, memo stickers because I know she journals. So everything's going into the big bag. I like this bag. It's cute. It's got the glitter. So we're gonna do the stickers, the really cute earmuffs that I kind of want to steal, but um, we're giving them to her. I hope she likes them. I mean, pink is her color, so. And then I'm gonna dump the chocolates that I put in here in there. And then I will add tissue paper. <laughs> I will add tissue paper later. <sighs> but yeah, I excited to see her this weekend. Tomorrow is so exciting too. So I know this week has been kind of like just me sewing and, and that's not ending today either, I'll be honest. Um, so I'm about to go sit in my chair, watch the new season of Singles Infernal. Are you guys watching it? I like the show. I feel like so far in this first episode from as far as I've got, no spoilers because I haven't even finished it myself, but I kind of feel like they're doing a thing where they're trying to create the same type of personalities that we saw last year. Like, um, I don't know everyone's name yet, but there's a girl... Um, who's really into fitness and she's wearing like a green dress and I'm like that's very very much like um oh my god now it's all blinking but her dress is like just her dress and like the way she seems is very much how um one of the girls I literally follow her on Instagram I can't remember her name. Um, but yeah, the girl, the athletic girl from last season. I'm gonna chew it through my mouth. Mm. 
but yeah, so <laughs> why did I eat toffee when I'm trying to tell this story? And I've been clenching my teeth still, so it feels weird to talk. But yeah, so the athletic um, girl from last season, this girl kind of seems like she's trying to fit her role. Um, they have a few... Um, well, they have the first girl that came out. Once again, she seemed like the innocent girl from last season that all the guys liked because she was so pale and stuff. Um, and I also just finished watching, what is it called? Oh, Ramen and Chill. That was really good. I liked it. Um, I kind of want them to do like a cast reunion so people could talk about like what happened. I think that'd be fun. And I hope they get the funding for season um, too. I know I would love to donate to their Kickstarter, but I am stressed about money, like I said in my last video. So, um, yeah, that, I thought it was a good show. I really like seeing different countries kind of dating styles. So, like, I feel like Korea definitely has a very different dating style from America. And also, I haven't really dated much. <laughs> um, I've been with my partner for we're going on eight years i think or we are at eight years so i don't really know what it's like to date but i hear it's not fun um and i feel like even watching the um ramen and chill show is just very interesting because you know american women even the guys even the guys kind of seem to be sticking to more girls who dress like korean women i wouldn't even i say the the girl that was the most popular on that show was um I'm not remember anything today. I think it's still the stress getting to me. But the there was that. <laughs> what are you doing? It wasn't no Sabrina's the girl um, who I thought had cute style, but the most popular girl. Um, I'm just going to put it in an editing. <laughs> the most popular girl, you know, she looked kind of like the most like what a Korean woman would look like. You know, she looked almost like she could blend in to me because I watch a lot of Korean media. So it was just interesting. So it was interesting that seeing, you know, the guys kind of still gravitating to what they knew. And I think it was cool kind of seeing which people... I hope still are working out and I mean the the guy Dan I see I remember his name <laughs> Dan seemed so American I'm gonna be honest everything about him just read like when he said he's from California I was like you seem it you seem very California so it was just interesting to see the other guys interact and um how they all Tiffany oh my god <laughs> and how they all were kind of like really drawn towards Tiffany. Um, I'm sad that the guys were dumb and didn't pick Bella. I wonder if they all thought Dan was going to pick her. And so they didn't. And that makes me sad because I feel like Dan played himself and her. And yeah, so that was fun to watch. Oh, I guess I should, I'm going to add spoiler <laughs> in the front of this. So I'm going to stop chatting. I'm kind of um, I've ate a little bit of salad for dinner tonight, but I'm going to make myself a wrap. And I'm so excited for tomorrow night. Tomorrow night is going to be so much fun, but the morning is not. So <sighs> let's get through some more sewing. I really, really going to be pushing it. All sewing yesterday was really nice and commented on my video saying, you know, try one project at a time. <laughs> and I was just like, Thank you, because I was going to say, like, I know I need to stop trying to do so many things, but it's like, I already committed. I already was planning on doing this. I'm, I'm really close. I'm, I'm still really proud of myself. Um, and I'm not going to beat myself up too much. Because I really only need the pink one for Monday. I probably should work in the red a little bit more. But I want it to be done. And we're going to get done. <laughs>